Do you remember this? The solo. Solo is back. Patch Pump Rush has been trying to turn into something for over a decade. It's making a comeback with recent FDA clearance of Solo as an interoperable pump for hybrid closed loop systems. Now, warning, you are about to see footage of my university baby face from 2018. If that footage does not give you a clear idea as to how long ago they started trying to make this work, nothing will. Roche has received C Mark for their third insulin pump called AccuCheck Solo Pump. Hey, it's Camille, your diabetes tech guy. Clearly, someone who has been trying to make diabetes tech make sense for a very, very long time already. So make sure you hit the subscribe button if you want to see me age into retirement down below. A quick history with timelines. Original Solo was actually FDA cleared in 2009. Rush acquired it in 2010, changed the controller and launched the patch pump with the updated controller in Europe in 2018 after getting the C mark for it. And now, in August of 2023, they re-cleared Solo in the US as an ACE interoperable insulin pump. One of those which works with hybrid closed loop systems. I think it is fair to say that the European launch of Solo has been an absolute car crash. The product itself hasn't gone down that well with many people with diabetes because it is not waterproof. So the actual pump body has to be removed from the pump assembly which stays on your body when you want to take a shower or take a bath or have a swim in the ocean etc. Which is not the most convenient way of using what on the surface looks like a patch that you were like Omnipod. Every user that I've ever spoken to of the Solo has always massively enjoyed the on-body bolus capability. I'm going to insert a video from 2019 as to how this works, but basically there are two buttons on each side of the pump and you can bolus directly from the pump. So let's do it. And okay. Now it's not very loud, so you have to listen carefully. Yep. Okay, ich mach gerade noch einen Quick Bogus, dann geht's weiter. Okay, so I press and hold. That was the sign, I can now program and I go one, two, three, four, five. Now I wait. Was it five? Yeah. Okay, I press one more time. And this D, 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 that tells me now the bolus actually starts running. I love this. And since the pump delivers with two units per minute, I have to talk now for 30 seconds because in 30 <laughs> seconds this bolus runs through because I want to show you that when the 30 seconds are over, you also for a quick bolus would get an acoustic feedback that the bolus has run through so that really it is completed and the insulin is now in your body. The concept of Solo is genius. If I had to describe it in one sentence, I would describe Solo as an environmentally conscious, not waterproof Omnipod. See, Omnipod is great. I use Omnipod, full disclosure. Uh, I like the product. But because it's a single use product, all of the electronics and all of the brain within each Omnipod is thrown away after you know two or three days, which is a an huge environmental waste. Well, Solo eliminates that entire problem because the pump body is reusable for six months. You just change the reservoir and the pump assembly every few days. But that amazing environmental benefit of reusing its main component means that it is not waterproof, which is a big big 
disadvantagement compared to something like Omnipod. So what does this approval from a few days ago mean for the Solo? Well, with the recent turmoil with the Tide Pool Loop project, after they lost both Medtronic and Omnipod as pump partners, Solo seems like an obvious choice of a pump partner which makes such a symbiotic sense for both Roche and Tidepool because they currently do not have a single pump partner on their books and Solo needs a hybrid closed loop system to work with. I mean, that's the pure reason why Roche decided to actually submit it to the FDA as, a, as an interoperable pump so that it's interoperable with hybrid closed loop systems. And Tidepool loop seems like the most obvious logical way to go forward. Beyond that, it's always been absolutely shocking to me that Roche never integrated Solo into the MySugar app, something that I know so many of you use earned such a good will in the diabetes community as, you know, regarded as one of the best diabetes apps out there. They've spent years working on integrating the inside pump into my sugar, which had full phone control. And then a few months after launching full phone control for my sugar, decided to discontinue the pump. So I, I don't have any hopes of seeing them actually integrate solo into my sugar but that would be the most obvious, logical thing to do. But once again, having not done that since 2018. Solo is back as an interoperable pump. Now, Rush is a medical goliath, so I'm not at all surprised to see them trying to get back into pumps and trying to turn Solo into a success. Making an interoperable pump is absolutely the right step forward. I think the biggest question mark about this pump is going to be its reliability. I mean, it's something I say about every single patch pump. We really haven't seen a single patch pump model work. Every single manufacturer of this, something between a patch, like an Omnipod and a tube pump, failed in one way or another because it's very difficult to make this concept work when you have the advantages of being on body small thing and reusability of the central brain of the pump. It's very difficult to manufacture that at scale. So if they manage to make significant improvements in the reliability, I see this being a, a, a very interesting, interesting pump for many people with diabetes. So that's today's video. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have any questions about the solo, let me know. As I've said, I've been playing around with it for a very, very long time. If you've personally used the solo over the last six years, it's been out in various places all over Europe. I would love to hear from you and your experience down below in the comments. I look forward to having a conversation with you and a debate about it down there. And thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe if you want more videos about diabetes tech and beyond. See you in the next one. Goodbye.